by just a bit of a stride down the road from Lake Clifton. We're um, heading to Cape Pouvard Brewery. And further on from the brewery is the uh, Thrombolites. Um, the lake that the uh, Thrombolites live in is actually um, about 300 parts per million of salt. Not too many fish species actually live in that lake due to how salty it is, except for a little tiny cyst, what they call like an atemia. They are a, a little tiny crust ball that when they get reintroduced to water they turn into these little tiny fish and the little baby fish like maybe one to two days old or even a few hours old is able to catch them to eat them because they move a lot slower than the, uh, the smaller fish so the Atemias were discovered in Japan uh, many years ago, way before aquaculture actually started here in any other country. It was something to do with an eel farm. They discovered that this water would turn orange and they were all little Atemias. And they realized those little orange Atemias or the little cysts were slow enough for baby fish of a few days old to actually catch them to eat so yeah that's one little thing I know about this lake anyway we're now coming up to the brewery of where we are not too bad a few cars so we'll um yeah we'll probably suss it out here this will be um, our second time out here. Let me get a picture of that bird. This will be our second time out here. So, first time I come out here, I um, caught up with one of my workmates. All right, we've just pulled up now. So, we'll uh, catch up with you and we'll take you for a tour inside. All right, ciao, Chen.